SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor, or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first, then you act. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Spartan Nation. We now head out to Fort Wayne, Indiana, not that far away from the capital of the Spartan Nation, East Lansing, to talk to a super talented young man. He's a blossoming prospect for the class of 21. He's 6'5 right now. I think he's going to get a lot bigger than that, at least a couple inches. I think at least he will. He's 175 pounds, great high school quarterback, Comes from a very athletic family and a great shooting guard. Clearly has Izzo's interest, and we want to talk to him. Luke Goody. Luke, how are you? Good. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you coming on. Luke, when's the last time you were in East Lansing? Um, I actually have not been to East Lansing yet on a visit, but um, I will be coming September 28th for the uh, Michigan State Indians game with uh, my AAU teammate, Caleb First. Oh, that's terrific. Okay, great. Luke, give me, I mean, I know that they were just in your school last week. Who stopped in to see you? Yeah, um, Coach Fife actually came to a football practice um, last Thursday. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on Michigan State, Luke? Yeah, so, I mean, obviously Coach Izzo is one of the best basketball coaches of all time. So uh, East Lansing, I know, is also a great place. I went to, I think, three or four years ago for a football game with some friends. Um, and I love the campus. And... I just obviously, like I said, the, the program is really, really good, and uh, they definitely know how to win there. So from what I know, um, without visiting there, I really like the atmosphere and what Michigan State has to offer. Luke, you have a bunch of offers already, a lot of Big Ten interest in you. I'm curious, you're, you are able to really keep a level head. You haven't let it turn you into an egomaniac. That tells me you come from a good family. Can you tell me about your family, please? Yes, sir. So <laughs> I come from a uh, very athletic family. Um, my dad actually played football in Indiana. Um, my grandpa won a Super Bowl with the Dolphins. Um, my, both two of my uncles played in the NFL. Um, and then two of my cousins actually play football at Northwestern right now. So um, just them being able to help me throughout the whole recruiting process and give me tips and um, just different things that will help me throughout the whole process um, has been a blessing to me. So that's probably where... Um, the humility comes from, to be honest, just my family members and uh, them helping me through the whole process. Luke, it's 6'5 at your age right now. I mean, you're still only a junior in high school. You're going to have some time to grow. Have you talked to doctors about growth plates or anything? How big do you think you're going to end up? Yeah, so um, right now, I'm actually, I've am actually i actually grown since the age. This season, I'm about 6'6 six, six now um, without shoes. And I think I think I'm, I'm starting to hit my peak. Uh, hopefully, I get to six seven, but six 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 seven, um, which is probably going to be end up being my height. Luke, you absolutely can shoot the lights out. I mean, you I I don't know where your range is, but you got Glenn Rice range. <laughs> Talk about your abilities to shoot. Yes, sir. So um, I've actually I played with uh, Team Teague, a program out of Indianapolis from second to eighth grade. And um, my role has always been to be a shooter. I mean, we've had really good uh, prospects on our team and talented kids, and my role has always been to shoot. So um, knowing that's my role, I've been in the gym a lot, and uh, obviously I take pride in my shooting. Um, I always go and shoot 500 shots a night during basketball season, and that's kind of contributes to me being able to shoot. Hmm. Luke, I've got to ask you because there's one thing about you that doesn't show up in the stat book. And it doesn't show up on any bylines, but it's absolutely what I know Izzo has to love about you. Have you ever let a ball go by that you weren't willing to jump on the floor to get or defense that you weren't <laughs> willing to pay to play? No, sir. No, any ball that's on the ground, I'm going for it. But you're also a kid committed to defense. Yep, yep. Um, I take pride in my defense as well. I mean, playing football. Um, helps me obviously with footwork and uh, physicality. That's one of the big reasons why I still play football is to help with my basketball game, as I know it uh, translates from sport to sport. And uh, being able to play football at the same time as playing basketball and being able to uh, defend with the physicality that I do, um, it really translates. And that's one of the big reasons why I love it. Luke, I want to ask you: you do not have the same game as this guy, 
but you have a uncanny commitment to defense and shooting and all that he had. Again, different game, but you remind me a lot of NBA star and former Spartan Gary Harris. Do you see the resemblance and the commitment to the little things that Gary had? Hey, you know what? He likes to shoot, and uh, he plays defense. So those are a couple things that I like to do as well. So I can see a little bit. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's a big compliment when you're being, you know, compared to a guy who's an NBA max deal kind of player. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yep, yep. We're talking sure. to Luke Goody, who's from uh, Homestead, who's Fort Wayne, Indiana. I don't care what the stars are. When you put the film in, he's a Tom Izzo player. He's diving on the floor. He's playing defense. He is running the wing and nailing threes from all over. He kind of plays like Gary Harris with the range of Glenn Rice. I really like his game. Luke, I want to dig into you personally. You, you're you killing it in the classroom right now. Talk about your commitment to grades. Yeah, for sure. So my parents, are, um, they really stress the fact that grades in school are way more important than sports because eventually one day the basketball is going to stop bouncing and I have to have something to fall back on. So. Um, other than basketball and football, I really, really pride myself in school and uh, doing my schoolwork and uh, being able to contribute in the classroom like that. Um, and that's what that's what I put my pride in. So I'm, I'm very, uh, very thankful that I have opportunities um, to be that uh, good in school. Luke, what do you got to get better at when you turn on the film and watch yourself as a player? Yep. What do you say, man? I don't like that. Yeah, um, well, I'm a player that's never satisfied. So, obviously, um, I take pride in my defense and my shooting, but obviously that can always be better. And then um, another thing that I want to get better at is my ball handling and my ability to rebound. Um, at the next level, I'm going to be like a 2-3 guard, so I need to be able to handle the ball with pressure. Um, so that's probably one of the main things I'm going to be working on. All right. Now let's go a little bit of a different direction. A lot of people don't know this. You're the starting quarterback for your high school. Yes, sir. Yep. How's Homestead doing this year? Uh, we are actually 4-0. We beat the defending state champs uh, last Friday, 17-15, to and we're playing the number four team in the state this Friday. So we got a big game coming up, and uh, we just had a big game, so we're doing really well this season. Luke, I also have heard you're getting some attention as a football player as well. Is that accurate? Yes, I am, yep. When, is that for quarterback also? Yes, it is, yep. So which one's your first love? Um, I've already made it a decision and a point, and I've told people that um, basketball is what I want to do in college. Um, football is just something for fun that I love to do. Um, love Friday night, and um, basketball is definitely a sport that I will be playing in college. Luke, let's talk a little bit. Uh, did you grow up a fan of any particular school? And, and there's no wrong answer. You can't control that. I'm just curious. What, what, what teams did you grow up a fan of? I'm assuming from Indiana, yeah. Purdue, and the Hoosiers. Yeah, so my dad, um, like I mentioned earlier, actually played football in Indiana, and uh, my uncle also did too, So, and my mom also went there, so I kind of grew up in Indy part of my childhood. Good for you. So you grew up loving the Big Ten. Okay, just a couple more questions, Luke, and I'm going to get you out of here. There is yeah, no, sure. There's no rush. You're going to make the decision whenever you're ready, but do you have a time frame of when you want to make it? Like some guys will say my parents' anniversary, my birthday – some guys will just say, I'm going to wake up and crawl out of bed one day and feel like this is what God wants me to do. Do you have a time frame? Yeah, no. So that's one of the big things. I'm um, just talking to coaches that I've been recruited by that they say, don't don't string out the process too long and um, don't enjoy recruiting too much. So whenever, what well, that means to me is that whenever um, I feel like the school is right, I could be committing tomorrow or I could be committing in a year and a half. It's just time will tell and um, how I feel with the different schools and what they have to offer. That's really cool. All right, Luke, last thing. Uh, when you come up for your visit, is this going to be your official or unofficial? Uh, it'll be an unofficial. Good for you. What are you looking forward to most seeing? What 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 are you intrigued most about to take a look at? Yeah, um, I'm just excited to honestly meet Coach Izzo in person. I mean, I've grown up, obviously, an Indiana fan, but um, obviously loving the Big Ten and uh, watching Big Ten basketball since I can remember and just – being able to see Coach Izzo and the flash and meet him and being able to be recruited by him is just a blessing to me. And I'm, I'm, that's probably what I'm most excited for. Okay, but how cool is it if you grew up as an Indiana fan to see Indiana legend Dane Fife stopping by practice? Yeah, that, that was awesome. That was pretty cool. Awesome. Luke, listen, we appreciate you. Hold on the line real quick. I want to talk to you for a second. That's Luke Goody, a 21 shooting guard out of Fort Wayne. The kid's a real deal, folks. 
He, he is a complete Izzo player. When you watch him play, he's diving on the floor for balls, playing defense. He's a good one. We'll be back. Defense, he's a good one.